This video will solve problem 2.1 from the book Heat Transfer JP Hellman 10th editions. Here is the statement of the first problem from the chapter number 1. A wall of 2 cm thick is to be constructed from material that has an average thermal conductivity of 1.3 watt per meter centigrade. The wall is to be insulated with a material having an average thermal conductivity of 0.35 watt per meter centigrade so that the heat loss per square meters will not exceed 1830 watt assuming that the inner and outer surface temperatures of the insulated wall are 1330 centigrade calculate the thickness of insulation required so the wall thick thickness that is provided so let's say this is the wall thickness it is divided by xw that is uh, 2 centimeter divided with 100 to convert into meter so you will get that is 0.02 meter has an average thermal conductivity of the valves let's say that is kw and that is 1.3 watt per meter centigrade the valve is to be insulated with a material having an average thermal conductivity of so the thermal conductivity of the insulation material that is provided on the valve that is 0 0.35 watt per meter dot centigrade so that the heat loss per square meter will not exceed so the heat loss per unit area that is 1830 watt per meter square and the temperature difference of uh, at the inside and the outside the wall is provided so it means that the temperature at this side that is ti that is 1300 centigrade and the temperature at the outside that is 30 centigrade and that is t naught so the difference of this ti minus t naught will give you 1270 centigrade remember the thickness of the wall is given that is provided and the thickness of the insulations that we need to find so this is x i is our requirement to find so x i is the thickness of the insulations that is required to hold the heat loss per unit here that is 1330 watt per meter square Okay, I hope you understand the uh, sketch that is provided. Now come to the solution. So, if I draw the analogy of this uh, statement, so first the internal uh, temperatures of the wall that is Ti, and then resistance induction resistance will occur offered by the wall to the heat transfers and then resistance offered by the insulations so this is the temperature ti this is the outlet temperature t naught and this is the resistance offered by the wall and this is the resistance offered by the insulation this is the this is its analogy network if you don't understand let me know in the comment sections i will further make a separate video on it so higher this resistance higher lower the heat transfer will take place so in case of insulations if you want to uh, keep the resistance that is offered to the heat transfers higher the insulation must be more okay so the heat transfer that will be equal to the temperature difference divided by that is equal to ti minus you know and that is 1270 centigrade and then the resistance offered by the valve a w a plus resistance offered by the insulation so here it is that is a i and area to so divide with area why because we are interesting 
to separate the heat transfer per unit here because this value is provided so this area will be cancelled out with this area when you divide it so you will have to end at the left hand side heat transfer per unit area that is the temperature difference divided by thickness of the valve thermal conductivity of the valves plus thickness of the insulations divided by its thermal conductivity now put the values things are very easy now so it is 1830 temperature difference is 1270 divided by what is xw it is 0 0.02 divided by 1.3 plus xi what is xi that we need to calculate and then x k i that is 0 0.35 Now divide both side with 1270 you will get 1830 divided by 1270 and that is equal to 1 divided by so here you will get the value that is 0 0.0154 minus sorry plus xi divided by 0 0.35. So take the reciprocals to get this unknown in the nominators. We will get the 0 0.0154 plus xi divided by 0 0.35 that is equal to 1270 divided by 1830. So we have taken the reciprocals. I hope you understand now simplify it on the calculators you will get the value that is 0 0.0154 plus xi divided by 0 0.35 that is 0 0.6939 so shift this value to that side it will subtract and then multiply it with 0 0.35 so finally you will got the thickness of the insulation and that is 0 0.237 meters and that is our final answer so i hope you understand if you still have any confusion you can ask in the comment sections please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and share with your colleagues.